Hey, what's up guys? It's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD, and welcome back to another high definition video tutorial, and welcome back to a familiar interface, uh, this one being of Safari 5. As you can see by the title, today we'll be going over Safari 5 extensions. You may already know that Chrome 5 has extensions, and Firefox has something called add-ons, and Flock uses Chrome extensions, and really Safari was the only main browser next to Internet Explorer, which is obviously not something we want to look up to. Uh, that's missing extensions of some sort. So I'm going to show you how to enable them and where to get them. So uh, to enable extensions in Safari, first go to your little uh, settings bar up here and go to preferences. This dialog box will pop up and you want to hit show developer menu in menu bar. Then exit out of that. Then you'll hit alt if you don't already have your menu bar and go to that develop button and go ahead and tick enable extensions. And that's all you have to do to enable extensions in Google Chrome, or I'm sorry, in Safari 5. Alright, so now that you've enabled extensions in Safari 5, I'm going to show you how and where to install them. So I have in this notepad document right here a link to a Tumblr blog that has a lot of example Safari 5 extensions. So we'll go ahead and paste that and visit the link. And they have a whole bunch of them on, featured on their homepage. I'm going to go ahead and search Adblock just because it's the, it happens to be the, uh, the extension that I use the most or enjoy the most or add thwart in Chrome. Uh, I've been using Chrome for a while, and like I said, I wanted to give Safari 5 a try. I tweeted it out. I wanted to switch to it, and uh, I just didn't really get to know it enough, and I, I kind of think that extensions will be the thing that finally hooks me. So click here to uh, get the download link. If there's ever a download link for an extension, that's what you want to click, and hit open. So you're going to get a dialog box very similar to what you got in Google Chrome that says, are you sure you want to install the extension? Install or don't install. We'll hit install, of course, because we want to use this. And uh, just like that, we can see up here, Adblock has been installed. So we'll go ahead and close the download window. So that's just as quick as it gets to install uh, a Safari 5 extension. You can go ahead and drag it around, move it wherever you want. We can visit an example page uh, just to make sure it works. Obviously, the New York Times site will have typically have ads on it. So there you go. There are no ads on this New York Times site. So there it is, guys. That's how you install extensions in Safari 5. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, nothing intended here by having the Google homepage, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys what you could do with Safari 5. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.